I'm Trisha Yearwood, and I'm about to dive into this iHeartRadio box. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. It's a flashback to really big hair. <laughs> this is my first album cover. Um, and that year was around the time that Pretty Woman had come out, and I wanted Julia Roberts' curls. I didn't really achieve it, but that was what was in my head. Next is Belmont Bruins flag. One of three colleges that I went to. Yay, go team. I finished college at Belmont. I got a degree in music business. I think getting a degree was not something that my record label asked for when I got my record deal. But when I talk to young girls, especially who want to get in the business and they ask me about what to do, I always, always tell them to finish school. And I really couldn't say that if I didn't. So thank you, Belmont. This is going to be painful for all of us. This is Trisha Yearwood from Monticello, Georgia. Check out that peplum on that skirt. My mother made that skirt. I did my own hair, obviously. Dance moves even in the 80s. So that was 1980-something. Um, I was in Nashville and I was um, finishing college and I was desperate to be a singer. And I was working at a um, agri-sales company. I was selling feeding troughs for hogs. And I thought, you know, I need to do something to, to, to uh, spark this thing. So I auditioned for a show called You Can Be a Star. It was on the Nashville Network. And um, I, I made it. I made it all the way to the final four. I came in second. This really good cab driver from Atlanta won. He was very good. He was really good. Um, but that was awesome for me. My mom made all my outfits. Thanks, Mom. The love of my life. Bakersfield, California is the most romantic city in the world to me because um, this is where Garth proposed. And it, right after this moment, when he asked me to marry him, I went like this because I couldn't believe we were doing this in front of a bunch of people. And it looked like I was saying no, but I actually was not. So um, this was in May um, of 2005. And so we'll be celebrating our 14th anniversary this December. I love you, honey. My first cookbook, um, Georgia Cooking in an Oklahoma Kitchen, that's a mouthful, but my niece Ashley and my mom and my sister, when I moved to Oklahoma to marry the cowboy, they made me a little homemade recipe book so that I would not feel so far away from home. And it became the working title of this cookbook. I always intended to change the title, but after calling it Georgia Cooking in an Oklahoma Kitchen for a couple of years working on the book, it stuck. So this one's very special. This was the first one um, and I wrote it with my mom and my sister. Um, it will always be special. Who didn't watch The Partridge Family? Shirley Jones. Um, you may ask, what is our connection? <laughs> she, uh, her best friend um, was a lady named Betty Maxwell from my hometown, and she would come to visit Miss Betty to get away from the crazy of Hollywood. And so it was not unusual in my small town of 2,500 people in Monticello, Georgia, to go to church on Sunday and see Shirley Jones in church. And it was just bizarre and weird and wonderful. And she has become a really great mentor and friend to me, and I love her. This is me and Amy Lou Harris and Ricky Skaggs, not to drop a name or two, um, celebrating my 20th anniversary of becoming a member of the Grand Ole Opry. If you're a country artist, this is it. This is the peak, this is the be all end all. Um, and I can't believe it's been 20 years since I was inducted, but we got to celebrate in a big way at the Grand Ole Opry um, just a couple months ago. Rescue dogs. <laughs> this is Emmy, this is Millie. Um, I've always had rescues. Um, back when I was a kid, we just called them stray dogs, but they found, their, they found their way to my house. I think they knew that I was the dog whisperer, and I think that um, every rescue, um, I think my dogs know, so they tell other dogs, hey, it's really good here, you might want to come over. So over the years, we've had a lot. We have two right now, um, and they are wonderful. I am a dog lover, and I'm, an I'm a rescuer, and I'm an adopt, don't shop. Um, please, there's so many, so many dogs that need homes, and cats. You know, I'm, I'm all about that, too. This is the unicorn, Kelly Clarkson. She's amazing. Um, no one can sing like her. I'm a confident singer, but I cannot sing like Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> she's amazing. And she's not only a great singer, she's a really great person. She's really down to earth. I don't think she realizes how talented she is. Um, and I'm just happy to call her friend. She's like my little sister. I sang with Kelly and Reba on Kelly's Christmas album. And then uh, Kelly and I sang with Reba on her gospel album. And Kelly is also singing on a couple of songs on this album. Look what we have here. 
This is my new album, Every Girl. I really wanted to show Every Girl, so the beginning of the day was very little, the no makeup look, which has some makeup. And then by the end of the evening, you're glam. And I just wanted to show that you are, we are Every Girl and everything in between. Um, first album I've had in a while, and I'm just really excited. That is what is in the iHeartRadio box, and that was really cool. We should do that again sometime. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.